you, Chippy Darling. Thank you, Clover. Right, who's in the box? Oh, guys, I'm not going to open the boxes yet until we've done... He did look fit, didn't he? Until we've done the news. Oh, thank you, Linz, my darling. Thank you, Becky. Uh, yeah, uh, JC look nice as well. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I wouldn't kick them out of bed unless they wanted it on the floor. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's if I weren't married, guys, because I am married, you know. We've got our Simon here. Do you know what I mean? Uh. Right, Alexa. <laughs> Take the layer. Zach, please mm, jump in this. Alexa off. Zach, please jump in this box and help a sister out because it's not working. Never mind Mess messaging me. Get in and tell me. I've had enough today. Thank you, Swoopsy. Thank you, sir. I've only been on 10 minutes. I've had a Mayfair Blue. I might pop a Propanol as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, are you, Zach? Are you not having a morning of it, aren't you, love? I am. <laughs> right, you've got to go into your multi-guest feature and then click the little setting, the, the little bolt, and then it says take the grid off, remove the grid layout. It's not letting me say. Yeah, but I've got to come off the live when you do it. So I'll come off and then you change the layout and then it will take me off. So you've got to put yourself big and then it will come off. Okay, then. Thank right. you, Z. Good luck. I can't wait to see you pop off. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Just please bear with me, 4,000 people. Bear with me. Um, so, what did you say? The little bowl, the panel. It's not letting me do anything. It's not letting me do anything at all. It won't let me... Press panel, grid, nothing. Alexa, play the BBC News theme. Alexa, play the BBC News theme. BBC News theme by TV Theme Tune Factory on Amazon Music. Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry for the madness this morning. Big love, everybody, for the gifts. Thank you, Jackie, Bryony, Kat, Georgie, everybody that's gifted. Today, we will have all the real opinions, yes, because when I woke up this morning, I was shook to the core with what I seen from the M's one, and I'm just not about it, to be fair. Uh, I just want to say, guys, that this is not an exp exposure. It exposure. It's just me hitting back because I'm not about it today. Hold these crocs, bitch. Yes? Legs are not about it. Hold the crocs. Right, guys, where am I? Let me get my little pad started. <laughs> so, anyway, Em's had a lot to say about me last night. Right, guys, so I'll play the videos and then I will respond. Uh, because, joking aside, I'm not about it. So, let me turn my little light off. Yes. And I will play what she had to say about me. They were trying to protect David Shaw's mental health. <laughs> And I bet you tomorrow morning I'm going to be getting ridiculed as well. Well, you know what? All the fucking screen recordings are right there. Carry on talking about me. Carry on. Because your time is fucking coming. And I tell you one thing now you will be told not to be speaking about me. If you. Who is telling me? that I can't speak about you. Everybody knows now what I do in here. I talk about the FYP. I'm all about it. I talk about what creators put all over the FYP, right? That is in the job description, description, whatever. It's in my title, it's in the edit, misread. FYP news. I'm not digging into your personal life. I'm not digging into anybody's personal life. If something is put, put out there in the public domain, we as people, freedom of speech and all that, are entitled to speak about it. So uh, 
what you're going to do about it because ain't nobody shutting me up if this live gets banned i'm going to go on to my backup if the backup gets banned i'm going to start another account and come back on and within five minutes i'm going to have four thousand people still watching me in the room because they love what i do yes let's continue carry on you will be told not to be speaking about me miss red that's me. If it's something that possibly affected my mental health, maybe I'll go to the police about it. Well then, what you're going to have to do, if I'm really having an impact on your mental health, bearing in mind, right, that I don't actually go that deep. I would love to go deeper into what I really think, but I don't like going that deep. But as from today, I'm going to go that deep because I haven't gone that deep on you on a couple of occasions. I've actually stuck up for you. And, and that is the, that is the truth. I haven't gone in that hard. And you're talking about your own mental health. What about every single person's mental health that goes? into that toxic kitchen it's like a fucking revolving door what about their mental health right is sean an angel no he isn't an angel but what you did to him new year's day new year's eve could have really really impacted his mental health and every other person that goes into that kitchen you use everybody that goes into that kitchen you use them for your own entertainment and you don't care what about their mental health so fuck your mental health fuck it <laughs> We will. Chelsea, thank you. I want you want See you like gifted, obviously, you know. She has to get in there. I've gone from social media. I'm all quiet now. I'm not showing my face. No, fucking hell, I'll hold your fucking horses. I'm on now. I am going to carry on talking about you. I'm going to carry on talking about every single person that is on the FYP putting content out there, whether it be bad, good. I'm going to talk about it. Absolutely. And there's nothing that you can do about it. There's nothing nobody can do about it. I'm not in here inciting hate or slandering anybody. There's nothing that I've said that isn't the truth. You got that man in your kitchen, plied him with alcohol, right? Whether It doesn't matter what he's done in the past, whatever, right? We're talking about the here and now on TikTok, on social media, stuff that you're putting out there, right? So obviously people are going to talk about it. People are going to talk about it. It's common knowledge. You're a wrong gun. You're toxic and you're a wrong gun. The way you put people down when they're in your kitchen, plying with alcohol, you do it to every single person. And I ain't going to talk about people that have been in there in the past that aren't here anymore. But it's all over TikTok. It's everywhere. So people are going to talk about it, bitch. And I'm going to talk about it every day of the week if I want to. Send the police. I'll show them what you do. There's a Claire's law. You need to be on the law for the men. For, 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 for what you do to men. You need to be on that law. You carry on talking about me. I am. Carry on sitting there and slandering my fucking name without proof. Right, so slander is something that you would say about a person that isn't true. Am I lying when I come on here and I see things on the FYP that she's belittling people, putting people down, degrading people? Is that slander or is that all over the FYP? It's not slander because it's true. It's there for the whole of TikTok to see. Sort your shit out. Sort my shit out. Sort my shit out. There you go. Finally, the truth. I don't know what I'm saying because I need 
just want my shit out. That's the only bit of truth that she's actually spoken. Do you know what I mean? Honestly, ah, the cheek people. I can't cope. I just can't cope. No. I don't know if if it's that rat that she's got sat on her head, like it's doing something to the to the brain. Do you know what I mean? You know that thing that she has on her head, the little ratty thing. I don't know what it is. The quiffy rats. It must be like having some compression on her brain, and you know she's not she's not thinking straight. Do you know what I mean? Like. Let's thank you guys for the love. Thank you guys for the love. And do you know what? I wouldn't have come on here and the poof, yeah. I wouldn't have come on here and uh, kicked off like this this morning, right? But at the end of the day, pot kettle black. Like, yes, I come on here and I talk about people and I talk about the FYP. So does Tyrone. So does Evil Queen. So does Zach the Brat. You know, there's a lot of people that do the same content as what I do. Do you know what I mean? So are we all gossips? Are we all gobshites? Are we all slandering? No, we're having an opinion and I'm going to carry on having that opinion and you are a wrong one. You're a wrong one from the stuff I've seen and I ain't going to play it because I've been sent so much this morning and I could play it, but I'm not going to play it because all you have to do, the 5.5k people in here, is go on the FYP and type in ants and the proof is there. And that's not me slandering. That's her own actions. Do you know what I mean? And then she's telling, I'm not going to play it, Tracy. If you want to look at what M's gets up to, all you have to do is type in M's on the FYP. Do you know what I mean? But if she does carry on speaking about me, threatening me, right, which the police ain't going to do jack shit. The police don't care. I will play everything. I will play everything if I have to. But I, I, at the moment, I don't want to. But you're sitting there lying about me, saying I'm slandering your name. And I'm not. I'm not slandering your name. I did feel sorry for Sean. Just like many people felt sorry for Sean because of what she put him through. You know, sh what she's shown. Is he an angel? No, I don't think he's an angel. I'm not saying that. But you're saying he's on a law. You need to be on a law as well. A law where men are protected. I'm sorry because she is an abuser. She abuses men for her own entertainment and her, and her own views. You know, it's like, uh, hang on a minute. Let me show you something. Can I get it up? This is what people really think about you, Ems, because I know you're watching. Right, one minute. Do you think M's was behind Sean getting set up? 91% of the TikTok population think that you set him up. That's what 91% of the TikTok population think. Do you know what I mean? It isn't just me that's coming in on here having an opinion. Every person that's voted on that has got an opinion, you know? Uh, my opinion is on it, right? How have you, thank you guys for the love, how have you got hold of all their messages and voice recordings? How have you got hold of it? If you wasn't behind it, or somebody that you knew, oh, Luke, oh, thank you, Luke, darling. Oh, guys, can everybody big up Luke and give Luke a follow, please? Thank you, Luke, my love. Nah, and thank you, everybody else, for the love. So, where has Ems got all this information from? Where she got the messages from, the screenshots from? So, obviously, I don't know much about the situation because I don't know. I don't go in there and watch her since New Year's Eve. That was the first and only time I've been in there. Where she got it all from? Where? Where has she got all this from, everybody? Yo, I thought her name was fucking Laura or Lara, not Kirsty though. You know, it's a strange place for me. It's strange as in it's new, not the people as I have. I mean, it, it's, I haven't been here for like 25 years. I, I went to East Coast, but I had to go to 
So, do I think she set him up? I don't know. I don't know if she if she set him up or not. I haven't looked too much into the drama of what's going on. I don't know. I can't say, right? But at the end of the day, there's no smoke without fire. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is, obviously because I'm talking about this for the first segment of the show, I'm going to get you in the boxes and I'm going to let you have your opinions. If you think she's done it, come in and speak about it. If you don't think she's done it, come in the box. I'll, you know, just because you're team ends, it doesn't mean you've got to get attacked in here. I like to hear what other people have got to say for the counter argument. I do things fairly in here. And if you want me to turn the comments off, I'll turn the comments off. It's not a problem. Problem. Please do not be afraid of coming here and defending M's because I love it. I love it when the person that I'm speaking about gets defended. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to open the boxes, get in the boxes, and we'll have it out. I want to hear what you're thinking about the situation. Like I said, I don't know if she's done it. I don't know. I'd like to think that she hasn't done it because... Doing that to Sean, that is twisted and sick, right? Whether he went down there to get his leg over or not, that's still fucking with his head. Whoever's done that, it's sick. I don't know who's done it, right? But I just want to know how you got hold of the messages. Da, 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 da. Someone saying Facebook. Get in the box and let's speak about it. And I wasn't going to do this, Sam's, but the fact that you're threatening me, saying you're going to silence me, like one of the worst things that you can ever do to me is say that you're going to silence me because I've been silenced previously when I was in a domestic violence relationship and no one will ever silence me again. So please don't ever say you're going to silence me because the more that you say you're going to silence me, the more that I'll speak out. Uh, right. So have we got any of M's people in here guys that want to jump in the box and you will not I will make sure you do not get attacked uh, I just want to hear your opinions on the whole drama so um, we've got hi we've got Kate Kimmy Julie um, right just tell me who you are in the comments please is Andrea in the box Right, so I'm just going to add people to the box because I don't know who's who. So I don't know who I'm adding to the box. I'm not going to add the usual names. I'm just going to add randoms, random people. So I don't know who you are. Um, obviously, some of you are my team members. So I'm going to add people that aren't all team members. All right. about I'm going to get silenced. Who do you think you are saying you're going to silence me? Who do you think you are? Do you know what I can't stand? Keyboard warriors. I can't stand the people that give it the beginning over the bloody internet. Speak to me like that in person. Right. Right, guys, we're in the boxes. Um, everybody on mute, everybody on mute. You don't have to mute, guys. We'll just have this conversation uh, freely. So just speak when you want to, guys. Good morning, Miss Jack, my darling. Good morning. Oh, I'm disgusted for what I've seen. Um, what you've said so far this morning is absolutely spot on regarding EMS. I've had dealings with EMS. Well, not me personally, but somebody who I'm very, very close to. It seems to be her mission to go out and try and destroy as many people as she possibly can. Darling, we can't hear you. Have you got earphones in or anything? Yeah, I do. Oh, hang on. Take your earphones out because we can't hear. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now, sweetheart. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. No, um, what I was saying was that um, whatever, regarding names, right, um, she whoever goes into a kitchen or whoever she gets involved with she is out of her way to destroy them in some way or another why i do not know she's clearly feeling threatened by you miss miss red right she really is but you see the thing is what i find personally is that people deliberately behave a certain way just to be spoken about <laughs> and 
she is on it. You know, if if you're not on the FYP, you're nothing, right? So they deliberately cause drama to get on there. My yeah. personal opinion, and I do believe my opinion, my gut feelings, which I go by one hundred percent, is yes, she had something to do with Sean. Now, if Ems was like to come after me, I will give her my address. I will put the kettle on, right, and I will wait. Right, but I am sick and tired of her throwing out her little toys out of her crib because it doesn't go the way she wants it to go. Now she needs to grow up, act her age, not her shoe size, and understand her actions have consequences. And this is it. Right? No, you've done nothing wrong, Miss Red, and I'm not going to be shining your backside. You know, I'll tell you how it is. I'm not afraid to, but I was absolutely miffed from what I saw this morning. And I'm normally a laid back, happy go, whatever person. But something's got to be said and it's got to be stopped. It really does. TikTok needs to do something about this. I'm sorry, Miss Red. I'm fuming. Fuming for you. Fuming for well, you. Do you know what, Kate, Ron? Obviously, I'm not saying that people can't talk about me. I love it when people talk about me. I can't sit here um, with the moral... Sorry, sorry, darling. You, I can't. I'm not sitting here with you know on a pedestal that people can't talk about me. I love it when people talk about me. Right. Uh, the fact is that she's saying uh, she's going to silence me. She's going to the police about me. Do you know what I mean? Like that's the only thing that I don't like. Say what you want to say about me. I don't care. I love it. I love it when I affect people. But saying you're going to ring the police, ring the police on me. I'll be showing the police videos, right, of what you've done to all them men. How you've. Uh, you know, embarrass them, use them for your own gratification, and they'll probably look at it all and think, well, yeah, do you know what I mean? Uh, yes. Exactly. So, yeah, go on, Carrie. <laughs> exactly. Well, if you don't want to be talked about on, in your life, why is she always all over the FYP? I don't get it. Like, if you don't want to be talked about, don't be an absolute lunatic in your kitchen every single night, causing drama with Sean and everyone else that got their breath, DG, like all that wallpaper issues. Like if she knows exactly what she's doing, she knew saying that last night you would be talking about her today. So mm -hmm. I don't, I literally don't understand it. She says, don't talk about me, but she's, she's the one making everyone have an opinion on her. So I just don't get it in any way. If you don't want to be talked about, just shut up basically. And just yeah. be, I think she yeah. has a really immature mindset. I think she's got the mindset yeah, of a child, like, um, you know, any, any attention's good attention, whether that's good or bad. And, and I agree, Carrie, like, even if it's, you know, she's, she's doing something in a negative light, she's going to get in the FYP, which is her ultimate goal, because she's mm. constantly after those views. And I think what she did with Sean, uh, was a absolutely disgusting. Um, and regardless of <coughs> anything Sean's done in the past, a good friend would have just immediately shut that live off, completely shut it down and, you know, and, and given him a hand. But, um, kia ora Lana, I see you. Um, so yeah, so I just think that she's a really bad friend and she thinks that any, uh, attention is good attention, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah. If I'm honest, a friend wouldn't sit there in the same room and humiliate you on a live stream in front of thousands of people. It's disgusting. I mean, I've, I've, I've said it once, I'll say it again, but the first thing I'm going to say is she was an angry little gremlin doing that, wasn't she? But first and foremost, she's dangled the carrot. She's done it for so, so long. I said it before on Miss Red's Live. The, if you look back previously with Sean, you can see that Sean is totally and utterly infatuated with this woman. And mm. she has a carrot dangled in front of him so like a little lovesick puppy he's gonna follow do you know what i mean it, it Can I just say something, Kimmy? how cruel is it right to use somebody's love against them do you know what i mean like to me that is so cruel the fact that he's so madly in love with that um you know i don't think he's you know i'm not saying he's you know a, a lovely guy. i don't know him but how cruel is that to use somebody's love against them in in, in the way that she does sorry Kimmy. The way, the way I see it, she's a master manipulator. She seems to be able to get inside this man's head and make this man do things that people like myself and you, Miss Red, it'd be red flags. We'd be like, oh, wait a minute, something's not right here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But he, you can clearly see that the man is vulnerable um, yeah. and she uses that to her advantage. 
Mm. But again, with the keyboard warrior situation, like she's not going to hold the same energy if she sees these people face to face that she's got beef with. Do you know, like it baffles me, hold the same energy. Don't, and for saying I'm phoning the police, she is willingly putting her life on a public domain. The police aren't going to do nothing. She makes it public knowledge by putting it on the public domain. So the police are going to take one look at it and go, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, I mean, okay. I've had the worst things said about me on here, the worst thing, right, and mm. um, slandered, lies. I've gone to the police, I've tried to work with cases, the police have said, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do, and that is the truth. Yeah, exactly. They can't They can't do anything. Their hands are tied. It's not It's not a serious offence, is it? People having a tit for tat over the internet is when it becomes really serious, dangerous. That's when they can get involved. Not because someone's thrown their little toys out of their pram. Sorry. But by that point, she's like the little boy who cried wolf, isn't she? Yeah. You know, they're just going to roll their eyes at her and go, well, how much of the truth are you actually telling us this time? Like, and she yeah. never tells the truth. Oh, Amanda, yeah. thank you. When, yeah, when no, you exactly. Is public it, knowledge, <laughs> then, yeah, do it. you know what I mean? You, when you make it public knowledge, and I'm not, I don't mean, I mean this in the most politest way, but when you put your life on TikTok, people are going to have an opinion. So it's your own fault. Do you know what I mean? You can't sit here and play the victim when you're doing it. You make the conscious decision every morning, every night to wake up and click that live button. It's yeah. that simple. It's like, do you know what, right? People say that I cry when people go back at me or people have something to say. I don't. I don't care. I love it. But if you're going to talk about me, make sure it's the truth. Do you get what I'm saying, like? Yeah. But she's she, she, she's sitting there saying I'm slandering her. Please tell me, right, we've got 5.5k people in that, in here. Have I ever, ever, let me do a quick poll, have I ever slandered M's in a, in a sense of have I lied about? Have I told one lie about M's um, in the whole time yeah. I've done this live? Right, I've been on here about a year and a half. Have I ever slandered a lied about her? Happy no. face for no. Why sad not face, yes. Sad face for that I, that I have slandered her. And then I'm going to screenshot this. So if she does call the police on me, I'll be I'll be showing this to the police. So if I've lied about M's, it's a happy face. If I haven't slandered her, it's. Oh, no, I you did it the other way around the first yeah. time. You said happy face if you haven't, sad <laughs> face if you have. <laughs> Never start again. Sorry, guys. It's, it's Sorry, guys. It's because I'm like, yeah, So if I haven't slandered M's, it's a happy face. If I have slandered M's, it's a sad face. Yeah. Right. Does that make sense? Because yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, that makes sense. Go on, ladies. Go on. Oh, okay, bless you, Red. It's one of those mornings, isn't it, my darling? Yes. <laughs> I'm not Ooh. being funny, but how can you slander somebody when all the evidence, she's saying show proof. If you want proof, all you need to do is type in M's on the FYP and all the proof is there readily available for everybody to see. Miss Red mm -hmm. has only spoke about what videos she has seen. And I, I've been watching, like, I, I've only been kind of in this, the UK realm for probably the, la the last couple of months, but I have found that Ems is never at peace. She's always arguing or got drama with somebody. You know, there's never any peace in that kitchen. Yeah. yeah. And, and well, basically, probably tonight she'll be on live and she'll be playing the victim, as we all know. Like, she's put it all out there, being horrible and done everything that she's done to everyone else. But as soon as, like, she'll be watching this right now, and I'm sure she's crying away to herself. And I'm sure it's going to be all over the FYP again tonight because she's going to be digging into you again, Miss Rad, saying, oh, she slandered me and all of that rubbish again. But sh she's literally put it out there, like I said, hasn't she? So she's, I'm sure tonight on her live, she'll be drinking you know playing the victim all of that again it's mm -hmm. did any of, did any of you ever watch her on facebook when she was no. there? it was no. before tiktok and wow she was around just the way she was with marcus yeah that totally was really YouTube's worse. I, she, I, i've watched her for years and she's never changed she's always been the same i've been did preaching about um, same way over, as yeah. you did marcus what sorry apparently she was on youtube way before facebook and apparently she was a lot worse 
Will she? Can I just say something, Roy? Obviously, I have seen some of them videos, and I don't want to, like, with the greatest of respect, I don't really want to go into that situation purely because, you know, he's yeah, no yeah. longer here. Do you get what I'm saying yeah. out of respect? Mm -hmm. But all this is out there for people to see, Roy. Why? Are people still supporting us? She abuses men. Yeah, sorry, oh. Facebook was a lot, lot worse yeah, than what she's she's she is on TikTok. And I think that reason is because you can't really get away with it on TikTok like you could Facebook back then. And yeah, it, like, really she, was, she was, she was, she was like really nasty though back on Facebook, like yeah. towards people. Like I don't know how to explain. Like she would go live and manipulate him, and she was, she was vile. She was vile. Yeah. Guys, I'm just going to do another poll, right? If you think Ems abuses people, specifically men, it's a happy face. If you don't think she abuses men, it's a sad face. Let's do another poll. Not even just um, the fact of... I it. don't even believe it. It's just, I reckon it's both sex, to be fair with you, don't I? Yeah, yeah. You've seen how she is with CLA and you've seen how she is with other creators. Um, yeah. It's not just men, it's literally just anyone that she can get her claws into, me mm. being one of them. I was one of her subs on, um, and I was in an Instagram uh, group, and because yeah. I said something wrong, all her minions come for me. Um, she even threatened to throw in social services on my, my child. Yeah, mm. she's a nasty creature beyond screen and all. Mm. She's horrible. Mm. Yesterday on the FYP of her um, basically saying that she has to go to HMRC because she's grass shorn up for his work and that's why he's lost his job or he's been suspended from his job. Can I ask you ladies and then we'll get the, we'll get some more people in. Yeah. Do you feel, thank you guys for the love, do you feel like she was behind this uh, with Sean going to Scotland? Do yes. you feel like yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I've seen a video where somebody was in her box and said they actually did it. Yeah, Sean believes mm -hmm. that I think that it is here and she's got someone else. There, so there is a video misread. I'll try and find it where one of her mods are in the box and the mod says that she she was the person that had set him up basically. Or could that be so a reflection from her? I was yeah, on Sean's... I'll I'll tag you. Honestly, misread, I'll at you in it. I'll try and find it again and I'll at you in the video. What was the mod called? Kirsty. So I have obviously I've not seen that video. So her mod joined Ems's box and admitted to setting Sean up. Yeah. And when she showed the messages, she said, I thought this girl was called Lauren or something, but it's called, she's called Kirsty. I'm going to drop down Miss Red to somebody else and come in. Just for the vulnerable. That's what I think. If, if she sees vulnerability in you, she's going for you. That's what I think. Yeah, she'll get her clothes in you. Yeah, definitely. Well, I just I want, want to say, Miss Red, I want to say, to answer your question quickly before I drop, you're saying, why do people still support this girl? The, the phrase comes to mind, birds of a feather will flock together. So anybody that's like that lady is going to support her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to let other but... people come up and have their opinion. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, massive love as always. Oh, thank you, Kimmy. Is, ladies, is there anyone that hasn't spoken? Thank you for the gifts. Hey. Hi, Julie. Hi, you okay? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. I just want to say, look, I've been preaching about this girl for over a year now. The thing she does is, is disgusting. And what i don't understand is she says about sean about claire's law etc etc then why have him around in the kitchen because she knows that she can manipulate him constantly because he's in love with her and it's it's sickening to watch and i feel so bad for sean but then sean knows and he keeps going back it's because I he loves her i was just going to say i think, I think it's all yeah. yeah i think he loves it. it i just want to quickly yeah, say before he loves i drop her. down miss rudy um, he adores her, but there's got to be, you know, so many people are constantly telling him what she's doing. There's got to be a cut-off point somewhere. And this and this setup with Scotland has got to be the last straw for him, surely. It's so cruel. Whoever did that, whether it was M's and the people behind it, a, a troll, that is so nasty. I've got it, a feeling it was Barker because he lives up in get... Scotland. You what, darling? Well, I think it was in... Barker. 
Interesting on that, that Barker actually. So when when Sean came back in and he was doing, I think it was when he had just got to his hotel or something, and he said that he had proof in black and white um, of who it was, and in that live Barker was in there constantly gif- gifting him. So mm. it was just so weird that he, Barker was in there gifting him, and Sean kind of was ignoring him a wee bit. Um, but he said that he had. A proof in black and white exactly who set him up and he said it's not hard to guess who it is I'll leave it up to your imagination so. the sad thing is he's probably going to be back there with her though later I wouldn't oh, be surprised course, you know course. just like Soph and Diadro like literally she's crying you know saying all everything and she won't be back but I bet she'll be back and so will Sean sadly you know what it's, it it's TikTok horrible famous, to say it? this but she's going to be the reason to someone's Doing something stupid one day. And oh, this okay. is why, sorry, ladies, this is why last week, I mean, because I was in that live and I'll, I'll be honest, I'll have, hold my hands up and say, I, I thought it was funny at the time. I'm not going to deny that at the time. I thought it was hilarious, you know, and I come on the next day, reported on it and made a joke of it. But, it you know, happy. sitting back, sitting back I, and seeing like, you know the serious consequences of what it could have had or what it can have as on his mental health right and his his reputation his whole livelihood i thought whoa that isn't okay and i felt so you know so ashamed of myself that i thought it was funny because it's not funny to put your put your friend and degrade them like that all over social media it's not mm-hmm. funny it just seriously of putting him in bad ways it, i think that was part of mark's his death Hold on, can I just ask you one question before I drop? Yeah. Do you reckon that um, M spiked Sean? I don't. Th- I don't think she no. did. No? He was chugging. Okay. He was chugging fast. Okay. No, I don't. I I'd ask. We've all got our opinions, but I thought I'd ask. Yeah, yeah. No, he was drinking, and he was drinking very, very fast. Yeah, I think I it's mean, something like twenty-two beers or something. Yeah, I mean, he'd had 20 stellars or something like that. So I do think that, you know, it, it's happened to him naturally. I, I don't think, well, I, from what I'm seeing, I don't think she spiked him. I, I, I don't. No. But I don't know, you know, I, I'm only going on what you, what the same as what you say, you know, I wasn't there. So my opinion mm. is I'd like to think that she didn't do it, you know. Okay, no worries. No, do you, no right, I'm going to... Mom, what was that? Do you guys think he uh, he was spiked? Maybe we need to do a poll. Wouldn't surprise me. Because there's like some that. interesting comments going on down there. I, d- I don't want to do a poll on that because it's such a it's such a like taboo thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm just Fair like, right. yeah, it's only because I was asked that I'm asking you, ladies. Mm-hmm. I'm going to drop down so anyway, I guys. So yeah, me too. Well, thanks for having me on. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's probably one, uh, just a step too far. Um, I don't think, I mean, that can have very dangerous consequences, can't it? I just, but I don't know M's enough to make that judgment. But yeah, interesting. It's an interesting question. Yeah. I find you so well. Sorry, go on. I just want to hear from Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi, Miss Red. Um, like, well, I'm really deaf, so what anybody else is saying to me, I probably won't hear them. But what I want to say is, for starters, Kirst isn't M's mod and has never been M's mod. Right, okay. She's on Facebook from Reed France, and she's been after M's for a long, long time. If you look her up, you'll see it. She posted on Miss, Miss the Madness the screenshots of her admitting it and the screenshots of her speaking to Sean and everything else. She posted it on there and somebody sent it to Ames. It had nothing to do with Ames. The, 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 the setup of Sean? Uh-huh. Right, okay. Now, now Sean is in Scotland, he's milking it. Totally milking it. He sent people that. messages saying that he's loving all the money that he's getting sent. So he's loving every bit of this. I don't care what comments are saying they can say what they like. 
but I'm telling the truth here. And another thing, at New Year, if somebody had shit in my shower or shit anywhere and then was accusing me of it or bringing somebody else in to shit in it, I would have went off my head as well. I would have threw yeah, them out naked. Beth, would you have put it over social media for thousands of people to see? If I was on, she was on live when she walked into her toilet and the shit was everywhere. Yeah, but would you have, would you not have like gone out the bathroom and said, okay, that's a bit too I much? I went away eventually because it was that bad. It was everywhere. Yeah, I did see it. I mean, at the time I thought it was hilarious. She was, you know I mean? she was on, on chat and he'd shit all her bed and everything and was still accusing her of it. Yeah. He's disgusting. He's vile. And for people saying that she spiked him at New Year, she never. She even contacted Sean and she was angry about it. And she says to Sean that she would get him drug tests or for him to go to the hospital to get a drug test to clear her name, that she never spiked him. And he wouldn't do it because he was loving the attention. He wouldn't do it. He's all forget. Sean's an actor. Is he an actor? Uh -huh. He's been in Coronation Street and Emmerdale and different things like this. He's a he's a total liar. And see the way he speaks to Ems. See when Ems comes off live, she's on chat and we all hear it. The way he speaks to her, he's disgusting. And that's why when he's in the Ems flat, a lot of the times you'll see the comments coming up, get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. Because we don't want him there for the way he treats her. If you look on the Facebook page as well, you'll also see the vile things he done to his ex and his ex's kids. He, stopped, he wouldn't even let his ex take her kids to the house. He made her stand in front of a clock to prove what time she went out at and then what time she came back home at. The girl still takes seizures and everything for the way he treated her. Sean's not the person you all think he is. I'm not saying he's an angel. I don't know much about him. I'm not into him. I'm not. I've never been invested in what goes on in that kitchen. I don't know much about Sean. I don't like do investigations or anything like that. I just all I'm saying is like from what I'm seeing of her, she humiliates people in that kitchen. That's up, Beth. My she, opinion is in that, she, yeah, she humiliates people in the kitchen, right? If you go with Agnew, right? The way we Agnew was, he accused the dog of going for him and jumped up on her couch phoning the police and giving her address out and everything on live so that wasn't her humiliating him he made an arse of that but then he still on to her live after it and was begging her back then we go with Spencer Spencer was chatting to another girl and the girl contacted him and told her so quite rightly she's got a, a right to when the girl's on her live telling him what he's what Spencer's been doing. That was why they fell out. She had a good can relationship with Spencer. Beth, can I ask a question? What about what she did to DG then when he went round there decorated? What what did you think about how her butt saying that she was asking him back into the flat? Ems was on live the whole time DJ was there. No, what I'm saying is right, like what she did, you know, it could have really affected his business. What about, why did she have to do that? Why could she not bring him off the phone, sort it out and give him an opportunity to go around and sort it out? She did, she contacted him. Oh, I've got to drop out now, Miss Red. Thanks for letting me okay, in. Thank you, okay, Karen. Thank, thank you, you darling. Like, I, like, Biff, I appreciate you coming in here and defending her. You know, I love that. But my, I'm just going off my personal opinion. I feel like, from what I see, um, she she does have a tendency to, to humiliate people. Uh, but, of course, you know, you're coming in here and, you know, you're having your opinion. And, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just what I'm seeing, guys. It's I think from my point of view, I think there's just been so many examples of the See humiliation. As well. See, when she came off live, she was on chat. As soon as Ems comes off live, she went on chat group. Hi, can you hear me? Hiya. Did Hi. speak with her? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, uh, I can't, I can't. The person that you just spoke about, Biff. Uh -huh. Hello? Hello, Agnes. Hold on, two Hi, seconds, Agnes. two seconds. 
Have we got anyone that's Team M's in the that's requesting the box, guys? Can you if you if you're requesting the box and your Team M's, can you can you just put me right, Kelly Paul, Kelly Paul? Miss Red, I'll just quickly um just my final comments before I drop down. I just want to say I'm. Um, I think there's just been too many times where we've seen with our own eyes Em's humiliating people in that kitchen and it just gets really tiring, especially when, you know, she talks about this. um, What law is it that she keeps? Sorry, I'm not from the UK, so I don't know. Is it Emma's law or something? One, one second, sorry, Biff Ashcott, first of all, what you're saying, Biff Ashcott, right? You weren't in that kitchen whenever I was there, okay, for a start. The police weren't called on a fucking dog, right? The phone was to my hand. There was no phone call made. Second of all, I wanted out of that flat. She was making a complete cunt out of me with that fucking dog and with her camera. Yes, I had a few drinks and I was excited and I fucking was a bit nervous going there. You weren't in the fucking flat. But I knew you went back there. You went back there. Unless... this is a second. I went back there to try and redeem myself to fucking show 21,000 people who was watching that live that I'm not a cunt. She made me out the fucking But it's still when you still want right? to go back there. Hold on, no. hold on a second. She, hold on a second. She, 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 she came to my live and she said to me, if I was such a, listen, if I was such a dickhead, why is she coming on request to me and telling me that she wants to draw a line under it and be friends with me if I was such a dickhead? No, you're the one that keeps requesting her constantly. Request her. I told her, go look at the screen recording. The you know that you're in Liverpool? The, the, la- the last time that I spoke to her was about two weeks ago, right? Two weeks ago, she said to me that I want to uh, draw things. Under the, the, I have good people who support me, right? Good people behind me, decent people. And any time I go on with that wee girl, any time I go on with her, they fucking don't want to watch me. They don't want to watch the fucking screen. Right? Yes, I went back there. I was in a fucking bad place whenever I was going there a year ago or a year and a half ago. I was bad on drink. I was I was doing whatever else. But I've got myself in the right place. And looking back to what I was doing and going to that wee girl's house, I never should have fucking went there. And I would not wish anyone to go there because you're going to end up the exact same as the last 20 fucking fellas who have been there. Yeah, Simple but they've all that. gone back there. All so, the people who've gone to Ems is that. See, gone see, back see there, someone so... like you supports the fucking wee girl sitting in her fucking kitchen <laughs> drinking every night. Can't and... even understand Look, you need your that. fucking head looked at. No harm to you, Biff. Go and get your Same fucking head looked at, love. That's what you need to do if you're sitting supporting something fucking wee girl. Got making a mockery out of fucking people. You need your, you need your head looked at. Good luck. I'm away. Um, can I just say as well, people need to stop throwing around the app. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call the police. If you're constantly out, in it, Charles. Constantly, the police are always yeah, involved. I know. If you're going to put something out on the public domain, it is public property. The minute it is put out on public domain, stop wasting any time by thinking, yeah. I'm going to call the police every five minutes. And as for people saying, like, she's innocent, la, la, la. I'm sorry, but... Um, the amount of times I've seen what she does in that kitchen, and I think this is disgusting. She used and abused Sean on TikTok for money. She used and abused him. That is sick. Anyone that's going to sit here and say that she actually gave a crap about him, please. But Sean's doing exactly the same to her. There is a. Crazy nanny, darling. There's a lot of interference. 